everyone. We're back and we're moving on to NBA. Now, Pedro Stoyakovich and, and uh, Jared Bayless go to the uh, Raptors for Jared Jack, Marcus Banks, and David Anderson. Thoughts on this? Who wants to take this one? I'll take it. Everybody knows New Orleans is my team. I want them to win. If the, if the Celtics don't win, I want New Orleans to win. I love this I love this um, this trade for both teams actually, you know. Um, Chris Paul when uh, New Orleans was at their best when they ended up with the number one seed a couple of years back. They had one of the best back of point guards in Gennaro Pargo and Gennaro Pargo played overseas and once he did leave, um, Chris Paul had problems because he had too much wear and tear on every game. And I think Jared Jackson really saw a point guard. I think he's already averaging ten points a game. But keep Jared Jackson in there. Give um, Chris Paul some needed needed uh, minutes on the bench to get him ready for the playoffs. I love this trade. Uh, Jared Bell Jared Bealis going over to um, Raptors is going to be good for their future too. I think um, Raptors are, Raptors aren't aren't out of it right now. They're they're five and nine. And they and that uh, East is wide open. Peja Stojankovic is going to add them a much needed veteran over there. Um, you know they, they're He's very a great three point shooter. Yeah, they're very young. They need it. They need a three point shooter out there too. He's going to be, um, I, I like Peja with uh, New Orleans, but I think this is a great trade for both sides. I, I think this helps New Orleans a little more just because it adds more depth to them. And uh, But, I mean, it, it like you said, it really does help both teams. Yeah, see, New Orleans also has um, Thornton on the bench, and they can play Bellinelli, too. So they have a lot of depth there, too. Yeah. And, um, I, yeah, so I, I like this trade for both teams. I, mean, I, I like for their bench to score more points than probably any other team right now. Well, we'll see. I mean, maybe the Celtics. Their bigs are a little bit weak with Bengo, but... Yeah, but the rest of the team is solid. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're really and you can also turn a couple of these players for another big man, too. Yeah, they could be more active in the trade in there. All right, moving on. Udonis Haslam could be done for the season. Uh, and, and the Heat signed Eric Dampier. Uh, thoughts on this? This is big. Yeah, it's mean, huge. Has Haslam's a beast. Yeah. You know, he, he's very underrated. Nobody really thinks of him as, you know, a top player. But, I mean, he's a pretty, pretty good defender. And he can score when you need him to. So, I mean, this is huge. I mean... Dampier's good, but he's not great. Yeah, listen, this is terrible news and great news for the Heat. And I'm sorry if that's a contradiction, but I'll tell you in a second. Look, Haslam's the I heart and soul. Saying. Haslam's the heart and soul of this Heat. You know, they they made sure they wanted to. Keep, Pat Riley needed to keep Haslam on that team. Um, Haslam is the, named their captain with Wade. Haslam's their, been on their team since the Shaq days. He's a terrific. Even before that, he's a terrific player. But the only problem is he's a little finesse and. Eric Dampier is great addition for this team. I don't know why they didn't get this guy earlier. Like we've been saying since the show started, they need a big guy. Uh, Eric Dampier is 35. He's a veteran. He knows he's not. Um, this is kind of like a Kendrick Perkins situation, only better. Kendrick Perkins was new to the league. He was trying to show his potential. Eric Dampier knows he's not going to get 20 points a night. He's just in there to be to draw fouls from Dwight Howard. He's going to get a lot of fouls from Dwight Howard and all these other bigs against the Celtics. Um, Dan Peter's a huge defensive player. He gets at least a, a block and a half a game. He's going to be a great defensive um, presence for the, for the Heat right now. Um, even if they, if they bring in Gaskus off the bench, I really like what the Heat are doing right now, and I love that pick. Losing Haslam's going to hurt the losing that pick. Um, getting that pick up in Dan is really good, but losing Haslam's going to really hurt. I, I think getting Dan Pierre makes them back up there with the Celtics. You know, I, I was saying a couple, you know, the last few weeks that you know they're not quite there with the Celtics. And now I think they are because they do have that presence down low. You know how I feel about the Heat. I still, I, I said I, I, I maybe overranked them a little bit early in the season. I think everybody was, but um, Except me. yeah, okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> I'll give you that. But um, I think uh, second half they're gonna definitely step it up. I think um, LeBron, Wade, and Bosch are all gonna pull it out together. I think Bosch is already stepping up and showing that he, proving that he's he's had a couple back to back. 20 point games. What's up with Dwayne Wade though? Yeah, Dwayne, Dwayne Wade one points. for thir he was one for thirteen and one for five at the line. That was terrible. But you know, I think Dan Pierce that just that veteran leadership that they need to bring this this whole team together. Yeah. All right, moving on to NHL. Mark Savard is close to coming back to the Bruins. Thoughts on this? My fantasy team is going to get a lot better. I can tell you that. <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, Savard is one of the top centers in the game. Yeah. I mean, he he can score, he can pass, he can do pretty much anything you want him to do. I mean, he's 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 a good leader. You know, he'll, he'll yeah. do pretty much anything that you need for from him. I mean, yeah. How, uh, I I honestly don't know how the Bruins have been doing this good without him. No, and not only that, but without Krejci too. Yeah. The two best Krejci's arguably their best player. Savard's arguably their best player. Um, Savard's obviously going to help this team tremendously. He should be the he's he should be the captain of this team. I don't think Char shows as much captain leadership as as a Savard or a Bergeron. But losing, getting Savard, the best, in my opinion, the best passer in the game still. 
I think he shows tremendous leadership for this game, and he is a, he's still in, he's still going to be the number one center in that number one line. You can put Ber Bergeron to his natural um, second line position, and right, I think he'll dominate even more. Yeah, and I think and I, he's showing some um, good chemistry with Horton and and Lucic in the ends. But I think I think this is obvious is going to help the Bruins getting Savard back. Oh, the yeah. only problem is cap room, and once they get Marcus Stern back, they're going to have to make a cut. They're they going to have to trade um, Stern. Or trade Ryder or trade Wheeler, but I think Charlie, I think Charlie's a bit, bit of an underrated GM right now. I think he's going to make the good move, and I think the Bruins going to be here for a while. I'm going to say something that uh, you'll probably disagree with. Okay. And probably 85 to 90 percent of the people out there would disagree yeah. with. But I think Savard might be better than Sidney Crosby. You know, I mean, yeah, Cros Crosby has more skill than him, but Savard is just that team player. You know, everything that he does is for the team, not for himself. And okay. I think I think Crosby is more of like. I want the MVP. Yeah, I agree. No, absolutely not. I don't agree with that at all. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I know you say I know you say NHL's your least favorite sport. No, but that. but I mean, if you, if you think about it, like you want that leadership on the team. Yeah, and Crosby brings team. that leadership. I, I I haven't seen it quite yet. I mean, he he is a leader. Uh, you gotta watch some of these Pittsburgh games. No, he's no, a no. terrific leader. No, he's a, he's a leader, but I don't see him being that locker room guy. That's what I'm okay. saying. I think Savard does that. So you're saying maybe he's a better leader. I'm saying he helps the team more overall, other than just. So you're the saying. Skill. So you're saying it makes Bruins, everyone better around. If the, if the Bruins lose Savard, then they'd be they'd have a they'd have a better re they'd have a worse record than if the, um, Crosby loses from. Gets well, you, you, that's really not even a fair, a fair Why? matchup because they saying. have Malkin. Malkin's a lot better than, um, than Bergeron is. I think yeah, but Malkin's only good because Crosby's is so good. Crosby's the be that. second best player in the league. I, I think he's a little overrated, but he might be a little overrated. But no, you can't. Uh, Crosby's much better. I'm, I'm not saying Crosby will never. I'm saying he has more skill than Savard, but Savard overall helps his team. For more. one year, if you're taking Savard, Crosby, you take Savard. I don't know. All right, yeah, the, Bru I, the Bruins for the Bruins. The Bruins the whole year last more. year they, they made the playoffs without Savard. I know, but coming with Savard, they could have won it all. That's well, what I'm saying. Yeah, but they did get Savard in the playoffs, and they didn't win it all. But they actually yeah, but, lost yeah, but, after the game. Yeah, but he wasn't fully healthy. Uh, that, that is true. That's true, but I mean, obviously, I think... All right, that's your opinion, but I say Crosby's still obviously better than Savard. All right. I don't know. He has more skill, but that, that's all I see from him. All right, all right. All right. And he's younger. Yeah, he's, younger. Yeah, he's, a, lot, he's a lot younger. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, well, in the future, he's definitely going to be better. He, he might even be better than Ovechkin in the future. I don't know, but... He's putting up. He's putting up. He's putting. He's putting up a hundred plus points. It's not really future. No, I'm not saying he's a bad player. No, he's I'm not a bad player. I'm just saying Savard helps his team, the chemistry of his team, more than Crosby does. All right, I, I'm just gonna disagree. I'm sorry. I can't. All right, I think about it. All right, all right. Crosby's all right. very valuable to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh will do nothing with Crosby. Yeah, because he's such because, a great team with because Crosby. he gets so many points for them. Yeah. But but I, I don't I don't see him taking control of a team. Uh, whatever. I, don't, right. I don't see him as a captain as much as I do Savard. All right, now I might agree with something <laughs> like that, though. That's that's Savard's what I'm saying. Very, yeah, so you're saying he's a leader. I'm saying he's better for his team chemistry and for his team over like all around instead of just putting up numbers. Whatever. Next next thing. All right. Well, we'll, we'll you wanted a fight. There's a all fight. All, all right. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. Moving on to MLB. Just not really a lot going on in the MLB right now, but you know. This is big. Cliff Lee it was offered six years, a hundred and forty million dollars from the Yankees. How do you turn it down? I mean, you're not. The, and even if you do turn it down, the Yankees will just add more, and they'll just get him. All right, seven years, one hundred and seventy-five yeah. million. I mean, seven years, a billion. <laughs> this guy's gonna be wiping his ass with like a hundred dollar bills. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, he, he's going to the Yankees. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. I mean, the Rangers said that they would match the offer. Yeah. But he doesn't want to play for the Rangers. He, I, he, he said he doesn't want to play in the Heat. I, I mean, this, is, this is what's going to go down. If they do get Lee, which you're already acting out here, they already make that BS thing about the Jeter thing, which we'll probably talk about in the next topic. Yes, whatever. that is going to be. But, um, you know, they're making that BS thing, oh, yeah, Jeter's going to leave. No, Jeter's going to be there. They, they're probably just using it just that for the media thing to get everybody off the Lee thing. They're, right now, they're, they're talking to Lee right now, I bet you. And Lee's going to be signing with them in the next week. And who's going to be after Lee? They're going to go off to Crawford. Meanwhile, the Red Sox giving up, letting out Victor, we already talked about, giving out Bale Trey, and then they're just going to be screwed here. But, yeah, I mean... The Yankees are just going to get better and better here. Yeah, and he's not so much money. You know, 
I know that Upton trade doesn't look like it's going to happen, but it, it, you never know. These things look like they're not going to happen, then the next thing you know, it happens. So, but the lead thing is going to happen. Oh, he's a Yankee. He, he's going to be a Yankee. Jeter's going to be a Yankee. The only I, thing that's not cool about the thing was uh, Lee was a tandem with Sabathia with the Indians. Yeah. And, that, that's what, and that's now, what now they're back. rejoining back with the Yankees. And, and the only, you know what is good for the Yankees there? Uh, if Lee does sign, I think they already developed a relationship. So if, I think Sabathia still wants to be that number one guy. Lee's going to sit back and say, yeah, I'll be the number two. I mean, I'm getting paid. Does, does it really matter yeah, who goes no. first or I'm, second? I'm getting paid right now, but he's, he, he'd probably want to be the ace on other, any other team. I'm getting paid. He goes to the Yankees, and it's going to be a great situation Would for you me. say Lee and Sabathia are the two best left-handed pitchers in the game? I'd say John Lester. John, yeah, John Lester's in there, too, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I go right now I go Lee, Lester, Sabathia. That, that, that's a fair argument. All right. But, I mean, Sabathia was, what, like third in the, the Cy Young or something? Um, yeah, because of the stupid team with all well, those lineup. Which true, but right. I, I, don't, I, I think Lee and Jeter, this team's going to the World Series again. Yep. There's, oh. there's no way to deny it. All right, we'll now, see, we'll see. With having said that, we only... Yeah, let's go. If let's, they stay healthy. We, we only have about, like, two, like, almost three minutes, so we're going to have to cover one... Discuss one big story right here. Yeah, I mean, Derek Jeter. Right, yeah, it's going to be Derek Jeter. So Huff resigns with the Giants for two years. I mean, that's big. That's big, but it's not as big as yes. Jeter. All right, ready? Here it is. Uh, viewer question. Uh, uh, viewer question from Matt from Boston. Uh, I don't want to see. Uh, I don't want Jeter in a Red Sox uniform. Do you think there is any chance that the Red Sox will offer for him? Any chance that the Yankees will actually let How him go? Do I, you want to go first? I actually think there's a good chance of this happening. Okay. I, I'm, I'm actually being serious with this. Um, I, I mean, Johnny Damon did it to the Red yeah. Sox. Why wouldn't Jeter do it? To, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, G, I, G, I'm, G, not, I'm not kidding. Right? No, 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 I don't think it's a world if, uh, if Derek Jeter... No, listen, Jeter's listen. Not, no, they, they're, not gonna t they're not really serious about telling him to go test the market. Yeah. They're saying that That's what I'm saying is BS. They're, they're, they're saying that they're not going to pay him because he's Derek Jeter. Yeah, they, you know they'll give him extra money because he's Derek Jeter, but they're not going to give him fifteen a year. The thing is, Derek Jeter doesn't really care about the money right now. He has the huge legacy. He's going for the. He, he's already the all-time hits leader, the Yankees or whatever. Um, he he's building this huge um, legacy. He wants to stay with, with the Yankees. But how how awesome? Well, not awesome, but how hilarious would that be if he ended nah, up with the Red Sox? Well, that, that would be very. Funny. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> there was a newspaper in the newspaper in the New York Post. There's a picture of him wearing a Red Sox uniform. And that's already staring up tons of um, problems. I think if Jeter ends up with the Red Sox, why not? You know, uh, Theo's all about these low risk, um, big money for one or two years. Give G give Jeter a two year, a two year fifty million dollar deal. I think two year forty five million. If Jeter doesn't yeah. go to the Yankees, he's not going to the Red Sox. Listen, I, the I, only I, other I, team. I want to agree with Brian. The only team. No, no, I, 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 yeah, I, I yeah, it's, it's a little. Uh, yeah, it's there's like a. <laughs> Jeter no, has no. more class. No, I'm saying he's going back to the Yankees. But I'm yeah, just yeah, saying yeah, yeah. it does fit. The, the Yankees did with Damon, you know. The, if, there's if, like a five. No, but listen, chance. if Beltre yeah. leaves, if Beltre leaves, there's going to be an opening at third base. Derek Jeter's old. The, the only the, the only other team he would go to, I would think, would be the Giants. That's the only other team I could see signing him. Why? Nah. They're they're, they're, they're just looking to spend some money this offseason. No, I don't see Derek. Jeter you know what? I'm going to go like this. I'm going to say it's about ninety six percent Yankees. I'll give two percent for Red Sox. And the rest to any other team. I'm going to say 98% Yankees, 1% Yankees farm system, and 1% Giants. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, so that's about all we have for this Thanksgiving edition of The Pitch. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Go Patriots. Yes. Don't eat too much. Yes. Your head might fall off or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, Next show would be scheduled on the regular Friday. Yeah, regular yeah Friday. We, we did special a little early just because occasion. it's Thanksgiving. Yep. So. All right, so subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, all the links are in the description. Um, become a fan of us on Facebook. We have a Twitter now. Where we post uh, Twitter information daily. Um, Same with our Facebook. We're yep. updating that a lot lately. Yep. So uh, check that out. Yep, so check it out. Subscribe. Do it up. We want to hear. We want feedback from you guys, all right? Ask six emails. We got a couple emails this week, but we want to hear more. We need more every week. To, that builds up the show. Let's go. T tell us what you want. If you want a, a MySpace, we'll make a MySpace. I mean, <laughs> all right. It's whatever you guys want. All right. Well, until next time, this is The Pitch with Fox, Bean, Arms, and Mitch. We'll see you next week. Let's go, Theo. Peace.